Wouldn't it be great to have a camera that starts recording when something moves? Now, if you look for wildlife cameras or uh, camera traps, you can buy cameras that do just that. But first, they are pretty expensive, and second, the image quality leaves a lot to be desired. But most cameras have a connection for a, a shutter remote. Wouldn't it be possible to use that and connect a motion sensor like this one? I ordered some of these HCSR501 infrared or PIR motion detectors from AliExpress. The link is in the description. The sensitivity and the duration of the switching time can be set on the two potentiometers on the side. For example, for a light that is to remain switched on for a certain time. That doesn't help us because we need a start impulse at the beginning and a stop impulse at the ending of the recording. We need an Arduino for that. Now the remote shutter release on my Panasonic Lumix works by measuring the resistance of whatever is connected to the socket. So I use an optocoupler instead of the shutter push button on the remote. This is a double one, a single one would have done it, but I still have this one lying around. My Panasonic Lumix uses a 4-pin 2.5mm jack for the shutter release. I already destroyed a similar one in the video with the camera dolly and I really don't know how you're supposed to solder it. If you know it, please tell me in the comments. Nine. At some point I managed it provisionally and I fixed the whole thing with hot glue as a precaution. Now I'll test that. A 46 kilo ohm resistor will probably fit. Carefully insert the Frankenstein plug into the camera. Now for triggering, I bridge it with a 2 kilo ohm resistor. Not bad. Another whole thing with Arduino. I'll just load the blink sketch that comes with the Arduino software as an example. It switches the LED and pin 13 on and off every second. So releasing the camera with the Arduino works already. This is the schematic. But now the whole thing is supposed to get a nice little case. So I have to keep everything as small as possible. I stick the optocoupler directly to the Arduino. Yeah, sure, with hot glue. I bend the pins apart. And now for some floating wiring. The pre-resistor for the optocoupler is connected to pin 13. The ground for the optocoupler. The 46 kilo ohm resistor. And the 2 kilo ohm resistor, the cable to the jack. And again, hot glue is used for insulating and fixing. The output of the motion detector is connected to pin 3. Oh, by the way, you can read under the cover how the pins are assigned. I power it with a 12 volt battery. So that I can solder them, I grind the poles a little bit. I have printed a case on my 3D printer in transparent plastic so that the LEDs of the Arduino shine through. The files are available at fluxing.de. There is a switch on the top. From there it goes to the V-in on the Arduino and on the motion detector. Now everything just has to be stuffed into the case. That's a little harder than I thought.
now program the Arduino. The code is also available at fluxing.de. And this is what it looks like. Well, that was a success, mostly. And I would love to show you some nice footage that I made with this, but the inevitable happened. The flimsy 2.5 millimeter jack just didn't survive. I should have bought a complete shutter remote and salvaged the cable from that. I have ordered one and as soon as it arrives, I will keep you updated on fluxing.de. But this won't be the last project that I made with these nice little motion sensors, especially as they cost 67 cents or something. So, come back next week and don't forget to press like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe only if you haven't subscribed already, otherwise it would be unsubscribe and that would kind of defy the purpose.